Hi everyone, and welcome to the late winter edition of Sky Treasures. The stars of spring are slowly taking over the eastern skies, but the winter constellation of Orion continues to rule in the south. The mighty hunter is still an excellent pointer to other constellations and deep sky wonders like star clusters and nebulae. For example, the prominent stars in Orion's belt can guide you to the brightest star in the entire nighttime sky. Follow the line of the belt down and left and you'll find Sirius, the dog star in Canis Major. This is the constellation of the Great Dog, one of Orion's hunting companions. At 8.6 light years away, Sirius is one of the closest stars to us, but has twice the mass of the Sun, making it 25 times more luminous if it were set at the same distance. Get some binoculars and look about 4 degrees below Sirius for a little patch of light. If you study it for a moment, it resolves into a beautiful little star cluster known as M41. This is a young group of stars that all formed together around 200 million years ago. Back at Orion, if you draw a line from the belt stars up and to the right, you'll find Aldebaran, the fiery eye of Taurus the Bull. Continue a little further and you'll also see the famous Pleiades star cluster, the Seven Sisters. Just like at M41, binoculars will improve the view, but the Pleiades look a little larger because they are five times closer to us. So go out and find those belt stars because Orion's faithful hunting companion awaits with its pretty little cluster of stars. And remember that binoculars can be one of the best tools for stargazing. Join us in the Delta College Planetarium on the first Friday of each month at seven o'clock for Gateway to the Stars and we'll show you how to get more out of your night sky observing. With the Delta College Planetarium and Learning Center, I'm Mike Murray.